coming together without further ado. He was the voice on the voice. Series eight. Gifted, talented brother, gift of God. Without further ado, let us welcome our brother, Emmanuel Smith. Come on, let's appreciate him as he comes. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus. How many of you can sense the presence of God in this place? Come on, can you, can you sense the presence of the Almighty God in this place? Wow. You know, one of the things that I've realized as the year has just begun is that usually I'm someone that's always on the go. But I don't know, there's something about the atmosphere of 2020 that God is calling for deeper. This is going to be a year where people's faith are really going to be tested. I know everyone is screaming it's going to be a great year and it's really going to be a great year. But so many doctrines are going to come that if you really don't know who you serve, you might fall. For the Bible says that it will come to a time that even the very own elect of God this is a time that we need to be praying because when we see where the world is going, the only pillar that we can lean upon is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the one that in Nigeria you call him the Kabiesi, the one that in Ghana we call him the Ahini Mohine, the one that in South Africa when they want to say thank you, they say, see, I could do me, sir. That is a God that we are going to experience. In 2020 you are the reason why I lift my hands why I lift my voice why I sing to you you are the reason I'm alive today I am here to say it's all because one more time you are the reason why why I lift why I lift my voice say why I sing to you We could have died in 2019, but you are the reason why I lift my hands, why I lift my voice, why I sing to you. See, you are the reason why I'm alive. I am here to say it's all.
singing this song just a few weeks ago I had a message that one of my close friends had died just my age she's always happy always bubbly and me when I hear someone is dead I want to find out how they died and I found out that she died after having a knee operation simple knee operation Two years ago, take it down for me a little bit. Two years ago, I had a new operation as well. And I was told for six weeks, don't do anything too active. But I don't know about you, but I'm a crazy guy. So when they said that to me, I had already booked a flight because I had an event in Germany to go and see. And I was not ready to cancel it. So the next day I was on a flight and I went to Germany and I was jumping up, leading people in praise and in worship. But I'm still alive. Some of you take so many things for granted. Can you, have you not heard someone dying of a simple headache? You and I have had so many headaches in 2019. Some natural causes and some phone bills and rent have given us some headaches. But you and I are still alive. I said we're still alive. You are the reason why I lift my head. Why I lift my voice Why I sing to you You are the reason I'm alive today I am here to say It's all because of you
keeping God. Yeah, you are. You are. You are. You are. You are. might come a time that you'll not be able to hold out your Bible outside. That is why Jesus said, I haven't written the commandments on stones anymore. But they are written on our hearts. It's going to come to a time that you're going to see people in the street that will need immediate prayer and immediate healing. And that is not the time that you're going to start. No. But God is requiring you to do those heba inside your house. So when you come out and you see that demon, you say, rise up and walk. Because I don't even have time for this. I said this year, we shall see the true sons and daughters of God. And we shall see those who have been faking it. You know one of the things that woke me up this year? Someone wrote a simple statement. So they said, are you going to be alive in 2000? And I calculated my age now. And I added those 80 years. And I may be only alive only by his grace. That means that what is it that I'm fighting to get on this earth? What is it that I'm competing to get on this earth? I want to be able to stand before that throne of God and Him say, you did every single thing I asked you to do. see the love of Christ let me tell you this imagine you have been chasing for the, ma the men here those who are married you are out no no you are the ones that are in those who are single please don't listen to this part imagine the woman that you were chasing and she finally said yes to you daddy please what's your wife's name So now you finally caught the apple of your eye. Would you, Daddy? Were you walking say, Brenda, you love me too much. Man. No, maybe in front of her. But when you went to your guys, the ones that you told before you chased, you say, Charlie, hey. the way you were walking changed. Because now there was a confidence in you. So when you are saying that Jesus, you love me too much, how can you be so gentle? When he showed his love on that cross, 
and he was bruised for you. Your love is kind. 2020, don't be ashamed. Your love is patient. Hey, you feel, you feel, you feel my heart. You feel my heart. With so much peace and joy. With so much peace and yes. joy. Yes, yes. Come on, let the devil be jealous now. Sing. Jealous. Hey, you make my life feel brand new. Say you're amazing. You're amazing. You make you make you make my life feel brand new. Hey, Jesus, you love me too much. us from the dust of the earth. Do you know what that means? You are the only creation that he wasn't afraid to get himself dirty to create. He got, imagine God on his knees forming your head. Forming your legs. And after he has done all of that, the Bible says, he breathed himself into you and I. Some of us have worried so much about the opinions of men. But I'm here to tell you that no man was around when God was creating you. He didn't ask no man's permission before he formed you. So he doesn't need no man's permission to bless you. Listen, I don't want to talk too much, but I want... You see, the Bible said they overcame him by the 
the power of their testimony and the blood you know one of the things I found that we ourselves we Christians criticize ourselves more than the world does sometimes some of the things I've heard about myself I sit down and say wow hey I never knew I was like that you know but no matter how you are no matter how people say you are there's no shadow you won't lay it up mountain you won't climb up coming after you Twenty twenty is a new mindset. <laughs> no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming up to me. No wall, no wall you won't dig down, lie you won't tear down. Can we take it to another level? Say no shadow. No shadow you won't light up.
they weren't replying to my messages. And it got to one night, I felt so broken. I said, God, I can't do this. Because I was sleeping, I was waking up in the middle of the night and my heart was beating. I was like, God, how is this going to happen? And I remember one night, clearly, I was walking home and the Holy Spirit said, Emmanuel, remember that when your mom came to the country, she was a cleaner at the Millennium Dome, which is now called the O2. So the very place that you want to do the concert, she was a cleaner, cleaning toilet. At first, when the Holy Spirit said that, I didn't get it. And then later, when I thought about it, I said, God, the price my mother paid. So on the 3rd of November, when I stood on that stage, and I said, Emmanuel, the place is sold out. I said, what? And I stood on that stage, and can you imagine my mom? The place she was wiping the toilet. She was sitting at the VIP. And listen, not just that. She was watching her son. Who society says that children from a single parent home don't amount to much. She was sitting there watching her son lift up the name of the God she serves. You didn't hear me. The thing that you are going through now... It's for your future testimony. She never knew that the place that she was cleaning, she was just preparing the way. She was just preparing the way. She was just preparing the way for her son to come and lift up the God that she serves. So I've come to a place that, in spite of what people say about me, my anthem is that you, Lord, you are worthy and no one can worship you for me for all the things you've done for me Jesus no one can worship my time is far gone, so I will not be sad and say, and I will not be sad. I will always worship you. Say as long as I am breathing. the beginning of your life and start counting the blessings and just start saying thank you Jesus go back to the beginning go back to the first situation just open your mouth thank you Jesus thank you for loving me go back to those moments of embarrassment those moments of shame those moments of tragedy those moments of disaster Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back through your life. Go back, go back. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Thank you, Jesus. Go back, go back. Go back. Remember, remember, remember. Remember. Remember that incident. 
over that situation. Take another 30 more seconds. Remember those incidences that God showed you how much he loved you. Remember those situations. Those moments you thought it was going to be over. Those moments of shame. The mistakes you made that should have embarrassed you that he covered you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. When you lost your job, he still made a way. Come on, let's put our hands together and appreciate the gift of Emmanuel Smith.